pretty much everything is fake these days, so let's just take it to the next level. Let's fake it to the next level. A few weeks ago I showed you how DaVinci Resolve can now auto-generate a fake sky. You can replace a boring sky in 5 minutes, and it looks great, but it's missing something. The moon. So let's add a fake moon to our fake sky. Fake, 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 everything's fake. Maybe I'm fake too, I don't know, maybe I'm an AI generated person. Could be, and I wouldn't tell you if that were the case, right? I would definitely be some of AI's most interesting work. That's a fact. Anyway, <laughs> fake moon. So I'm gonna show you the easiest way to do it, but maybe it's not the best way, I don't know. But that's not the point of these short, simple tutorials. Yeah, there is a point to everything I'm doing here. It's hard to believe sometimes, I know, but there is, I promise. These short, simple tutorials, what they do is they'll help you to get used to DaVinci Resolve and the tools, its interface, without making it too complicated. You know, small steps will get you there too. <sighs> I'm rambling, I'm sorry. Tutorial. Okay, so a few videos ago I replaced the boring sky in this clip with a sky generated by DaVinci Resolve using the new sky replacement tool. And I'll link that video in the description in case you haven't seen it yet. Now, the first thing you need to do is convert that clip with the new sky into a fusion clip. Copy the clip first so you still have the original in case you need it. Then right click, new fusion clip. There, that's it. If you don't do this, then DaVinci Resolve will generate the new sky over your moon and you'll barely be able to see it. Okay, then go to the fusion page and it's super easy to add the moon. First create a merge node, that's this icon right here. Grab it, drag it, drop it, and there it is. And we need that merge node to put our moon over the background, which is our clip with the new sky. So let's connect it in between the media in and media out node, and then just grab a picture of the moon. A PNG with a transparent background. I have a few here, let's take this one and drop it here. Connect it to the merge node, and boom, Houston, we have a moon. Now look, guys, I'm not an astronomer and I don't know if it's possible to have a full moon in that exact location in this sky. Maybe it's not possible scientifically, I don't know, but you can use any moon you want. Full moon, quarter moon, half moon. I'm just saying this because I know that there's gonna be at least one person in the comments saying it's not possible to have a full moon there at that location. Whatever, it's not important. Back to the tutorial. Now, of course, the moon is too big, so let's resize and reposition it. Select the moon node and then add a transform node. That's this icon right here. And if you have a node selected, it will automatically connect it. See? So let's put the moon here and make it smaller. Something like that, I guess. Looks okay, but it's missing some glow. Since the moon reflects light, it should look like it's reflecting light, right? So select the moon again, hit shift spacebar, and then look for glow. This one here with the droplet icon, that's the one we need. Hit add and there it is. The default settings are obviously too much because the moon is completely blown out now. I want to still see a bit of texture, so let's set filter here to blend. Looks a lot better and then glow size all the way up and glow down a little bit. That doesn't look too shabby. But we're not done yet, because, well, like this, when the image is not moving, it looks great. But if I play the clip, it doesn't look right, because the moon stays in the same position in the frame. But it should stay in the same position in the sky, relative to the clouds, you know what I mean? And the easiest way to make it do that is by using a tracker node. So let's delete the merge node here, we're gonna replace it with a tracker node. Hit shift spacebar again, tracker, add it, connect it, and then move the tracker box over here. Let's select this little cloud here. We're gonna track that cloud. Make sure the playhead is at the start of the clip and then hit track forward. Wait a little bit, complete. Then connect the transform node to the tracker node. Go to operation and select match move here. And that's it. Now the moon will stay in the same fixed position in the sky. And there you go. I hope you liked it. Uh, <laughs> For just a second there, I was tempted to show you guys my butt, you know, to moon you when we came back from the screen recording without warning, but that might be taking it just one step too far? I don't know. I'll have to discuss it with Joanna first. Maybe next time. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. <laughs>